What is up, my AMC fan? What is up, my GME family? What is up, my Ape Crypto and Retail fan? What is up, everybody out there being stolen from, shy song, straight manipulated, egregiously attacked, pretty much just beat up in plain daylight without anybody helping, just people just putting out your phones and be like, hey, look at this guy, he's getting his ass up. Anyways, it's your boy Mike coming at your phone, you already know. AMC movie theaters out here in Temecula, California. Okay, now this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. And before I get started, everybody, just hit that like button, hit that subscribe. It's been a minute since I've been here. Feels good to stand out here. It just feels great to where it all started. Anyways, I know people were talking about missing the shillbirds. You're missing, uh, I think it was the hedge frogs. You had the geese that attacking me that one day. Um, just a bunch of great memories here. I was in the area <laughs> tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I said, you know what, let me just drop a video because uh, there's a couple things that are, that are on my mind and are concerning to me, okay? Now, first and foremost, where cryptocurrency is at, uh, you know, it's it has me on edge. It has me really concerned the crypto space simply because a lot of people are still investing in cryptocurrency. A lot of people still holding cryptocurrency. A lot of people have um, a major outlook, a big outlook on cryptocurrency as well as I do. OK, now, just to be clear, I'm full on liquid. I have no positions in crypto. I did say when Bitcoin got to that 15K area, I was gonna start entering a position. But what happened with FTX, um, Binance, CZ, and uh, Sam Bankman Free, what happened, you know, that whole situation, you know, people talk about money laundering between, you know, the administration, Ukraine, all the way back over here, uh, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes and it has me on edge. Just cryptocurrency in general has me on edge. Now, not too long ago, 2018, uh, is crypto's pretty much around 2.9 trillion overall as a whole now it's about 800 billion okay so it's lost about 2.1 trillion dollars over the last four years and um and, and that's a big number that that's actually a massive number but here's the thing about it do i still believe in crypto yes i still believe in crypto for the long haul i'm going to be in it for the long haul as soon as i start entering positions but right now it just has me on edge how far can cryptocurrency uh, um the whole market as a whole get down you know at 800 billion right now can it get down to about 600 billion possibly and a lot of people looking at bitcoin where it's at people saying 10k you know I was pretty entrenched in my own ideas and thoughts about, you know, Bitcoin going down to about 13.5. There's a bunch of buy orders there. Um, there's a, there's a, um, a buying wall that, you know, I didn't think we'll break out of. Since looking at that, it's about 12.5 and it's not even that strong. Um, you know, I don't even know what the base is going to be for Bitcoin as well as cryptocurrencies. And again, I'm still being patient waiting for the long haul waiting for a great opportunity to get back into crypto now the reason why i mentioned this because my retail family i just want you to be very careful when it comes to crypto you know even though the market has spiked like at 400 um you know things are pumping up here and there but with crypto with crypto being exactly where it's at at 16.4 16.6 16.5 and then dropping down to the 15s we're trading in the channel right now for cryptocurrency as well as bitcoin okay this channel if it breaks down beneath the channel i think bitcoin would be about 15.8, 15.6, somewhere around there. If it breaks below that, you're going to see some nasty downside, nasty, nasty, uh, just pretty much ugliness, okay? Now, when it hits that bottom or gets close to that bottom in the 14s or 13s, will that be a time to buy? Again, who knows? Depends on what's going on in the market. Again, I just want to share my thoughts, my concerns when it comes to my retail family, simply because it's going to affect the stock market. Now, one other thing, the other thing I want to mention is the fact that housing market, okay? Now, now last month, Retail uh, uh, realtors that cannot pay their bills, okay? It went from about 27% all the way up to 37%. That means houses are not selling. Now, I was in live stream, someone said the house sold right away. They had a multiple multiple bidding war when it came to the houses and asked them what state are they in. And I figured you can't be in California, you can't be in Idaho, you can't be in Texas, you can't be in Florida. And he was in Alaska, okay? So obviously, I think it's just cold as hell out there. People are trying to get inside, whatever the case may be. You know, his house sold great, good job. But overall, the housing market is still, there's still major problems you know going on with the housing market and it's weighing still on the stock market okay now how does this affect amc ape and gamestop now you know when it comes to cryptocurrency obviously liquidity volatility is king when it comes to the stock market as well as recently cryptocurrency my retail fam i just want to say we're in it for a short squeeze in it for the long haul nothing has a change just remain where you're at stand pat if you can average down these prices you know some people say, you know, do I buy Ape? Do I buy AMC? Do I buy GameStop? Buy whatever you want to buy. And remember, doing nothing is still doing something. You don't have to go out and buy. You don't have to average down. You don't have to do anything. You can actually take care of your family and do what you have to do. If you have your positions, you're okay. You're financially stable. Fine. Just just hang tight. Just remain patient. Remain calm. Be in it for the long haul. Because if you're looking at for a short squeeze before Christmas or something to have a, you know, a nice holiday, that's possibly more than likely not going to happen because there's so much downside in the stock market. I don't care if there's any green. You know, people get a 
I've said that I talk about the downside when it comes to the stock market, when it comes to cryptocurrency, when it comes to the housing market, and simply because it's true. I don't care what green I see. I don't care if there's any greenery, Kermit the Frog, Incredible Hulk, you know, that sticky icky. I do not care. Any green, I do not care. I'm just pretty much remaining patient, remaining calm, and hanging on the sidelines because for me, there's still a ton of downside. And what happened in 07, 08 is pretty much, you know, that's coming. It's in the horizon. We still have a rate hike coming up. We still have a whole bunch of crap with the administration. Um, they still have possibility for, you know, uh, supply chain issues. We have holidays. We have um, inflation. Just things are running rapid. Um, we have many things, that many hurdles that can actually trip up the stock market, trip up the cryptocurrency space, as well as just the retail investor is always last to know, okay? Now, one thing that before I get out here is I want to say this. I did say that cryptocurrency was gonna go down and every scenario that I played out, how cryptocurrency was gonna take a hit and push to the downside with the stock market, FTX was not one of them. I, it was not even on my radar, didn't even cross my mind. They were the second biggest um, uh, enterprise out there, <laughs> out there, if you wanna say. They were the second biggest next to Binance and, um, and, and I did not see this coming, okay? So every scenario that I played out, you gotta remember, anything can happen at any given moment when it comes to cryptocurrency, as well as stock market, because we're retail investors. I don't care what stock you're in. I don't care if you're Amazon, Tesla, SoFi, whatever. If you're if you're a retail investor, that means you're not in the know. If you're not in the know, you're last to know because you know we're not privy to this information, okay? So again, that's all I have. Everybody have a blessed day. You gotta remember, the stock market is closed tomorrow. It is Thanksgiving. Everybody eat tons and tons of turkey. Then on Friday, the market closed three hours early. If you're out here on the West Coast, like myself here in sunny southern california or on the west coast pacific time the market opens at 6 30 but closes at one o'clock instead um instead of uh, at four o'clock okay so actually no that's actually even correct it closes at 10 o'clock instead of four o'clock okay that might be the hours okay anyways that's all i have have a blessed day i'll talk to everybody all right take it easy peace